I'm going to show how to run the temperature control lab and get it set up with Python for the very first time. Now, if you've received one of these boxes and it's preloaded with, um, you know, with the Python firmware or the MATLAB firmware, you can switch them. I'm going to show you how to switch it here. Okay, so I'm just going to move the box out of the way and look at the different contents. Here's the power supply. This is a five volt, one amp power supply. Here we have a, uh, you know, the temperature control lab, and sitting on top of it. I don't re recommend doing this very often, but I'm going to go ahead and pull these pins out just to show you. There's the Arduino Uno underneath, and then here is the temperature control lab on top. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just connect these two. Okay, so they're connected, and then here we have the USB right here. This is a, um, a serial communication that we're going to have between the computer and the device. And so the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug that in right here, right at the top. Okay, there's a there's the USB. And that's going to plug into my computer. So the very first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and load the firmware on. Okay, so it's, it's connected now. Um, we can see this, and then we'll do the power a little bit later when we need to turn on the heaters. So the other two that are there, the... Uh, the power cord that goes into the barrel jack that's up there. You can see it, it plugs in right here at the top where it says power plug. And don't plug it in uh, down here where there's the Arduino um, you know, connection. That's not the place to uh, plug it in. Okay, we're just going to plug it in on the top one. Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and download some of the uh, files that we'll need. We're going to get uh, if the firmware. So just come to apmonitor.com slash heat.htm. And this is the control lab. And what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll down to download starting temperature control lab files. And we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. OK, it's tclab.zip. Go ahead and close that out. And then go ahead and just right click and extract all. And then you're going to go ahead and extract the file somewhere where you can write them. And then it'll have these folders set up. Uh, here's MATLAB, Python, and Simulink. I've shown another video for MATLAB and Simulink. We're going to do the Python one. Okay, if you go into this folder, the TC Lab, there's going to be a tclab.ino file. And uh, you need to get the, if you want to download the new firmware, um, it should be preloaded. But just in case you don't have it, uh, just search for Arduino software uh, download. And it should be the first link there. Here's the software that we'll use. You can either use the Arduino web editor. I like to download mine just so I have it locally. And you can do Windows installer or Mac or Linux. Okay, once that's on your computer, it should show up with this icon. And then when you double click it, it'll open up the Arduino software. Now this is only if you do not have the firmware already on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, upload it to my device. Okay, it's going to compile it and then it will download to the device. Okay, it says done uploading. And here's the uh, firmware. If you want to look at it or change it, you can. Uh, it just gives some of the basic functionality to allow us to interact with Python. Okay, I'm going to close that out. Now it's all set. And I'm going to come back into the temperature control lab and come into Python. And let's just go ahead and test the LED. Okay, so this is going to open up just a basic script. It's going to connect to the Arduino. It's going to print the version and then it's going to turn on the LED. And then over the course of a few seconds, it'll dim the LED. So let me, uh, before we run this, let's get the camera back up here just so we can see it. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. So put it off here in the side. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and run this and just see the LED turn on. 
I'm going to run this here and it will hopefully open the connection to the device and you can see the LED turned on and it's starting to get dimmer and then it turns off. Okay, that's the very first test. You know you're connected and you know the drivers are downloaded to the device. Now what I'm going to do is select the test temperatures. Here's just a very basic script that is going to show how to read the temperatures. Okay, I'm going to do a.t1 to read temperature 1 and a.t2 to get temperature 2 value. And then if I want to change the heater value, I do a.q1 and a.q2. So I can run this and then it's going to keep it on for a period of time. Just read the temperatures, turn on the heaters, and then go ahead and uh, wait for a bit. Let's see how much time we had there. On the pause, we had 60 seconds. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop this because I don't want it to, uh, I'll show the other script as well. 60 seconds is a little bit long to wait, but you can let that run. Here's another one, which is uh, test the heaters. And this one will show a plot of what's happening. Okay, and so it's gonna open the connection. And then it's gonna have this plot that comes up. And we're gonna see this trend along the temperature one and temperature two. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to plug in the heater. So let me do that just as it's running. We're not going to see it. Um, we're not going to see it heat up until I plug in the heater and actually get this thing. Um, so let me just show it off here to the side. Okay. And one thing you can do is while the heater's not on, you can blow on the temperature sensor, for example and uh, see if it'll heat up. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right here. The heater is on, but it's not really doing anything yet. And then I'm also going to grab the uh, power supply. Now this can go into another USB port on your computer to give it power. Um, sometimes it, you know, just with the pulse width modulation of the heater, it can make the temperature sensor have a lot more noise. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this in right here to the back. And then go ahead and plug this in to give power to the heaters. Okay, so there it is. It's plugged in. And let me just show. Uh, I'll go ahead and close the camera now. Now that we're... Okay, so I plugged it in. And let's just see what's happening here. Okay, it looks like I was messing around with the uh, device. Um, but now... Uh, you see the temperature going up. And I'm not quite sure why there's so much noise here. Um, looks like I need to just get this thing plugged in correctly. Maybe I had a little bit of static on me when I was adjusting it. Okay. And there you can see the temperature going up with the heater values. Um, it's continuing to increase. Okay, and you can see it uh, heating up the device. Um, now, in this case, we have, uh, you know, temperature one, temperature two, and, uh, you know, we have, we're not sending any, you know, didn't turn on the heater for temperature, for, uh, you know, the heater for temp for the heater two, but it's just for heater one that the heat is on. And you can see it warming up. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and stop it now, but this is an introduction on how to use Python to connect and download the firmware and then run some of these simple tests to be able to get uh, you know, the heater and the temperature values coming out of the device. Um, you know, this one is showing more noise than I'm used to on these, so um, I think you know, we're going to go ahead and just uh, blow on it now. Okay.
So I blow on it, you can see the temperature start to drop. So um, the heater is going to remain on and then it's going to heat back up. And there you can see the uh, temperature response. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial on how to set up Python and, uh, and then use the temperature control lab to take some measurements on the temperature, turn on the heater, and uh, run a step test.